Okay, so this is reference table H mini video for the chemistry reference tables. And this is the vapor pressure of four liquids. So if you see these four liquids, propanone, ethanol, water, and ethanoic acid in a multiple choice question, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you use reference table H. Uh, Cause sometimes you'll say, I have no idea what this question is asking, but when you match words in the question to words in the reference tables, you might get the clue that you're gonna to need to use this table. So this is a table of boiling points, right? So that's why I have this written over here, boiling points. So when vapor pressure equals the atmospheric pressure, right? So that's the vapor coming up off of a liquid and that equals the pressure on the outside of the liquid, the liquid will boil, right? So that's the definition of boiling. So just a quick little uh, update as to how this table works. We have temperature on the X and we have vapor pressure, right? The pressure of the vapor on the Y. So your vapor pressure, right, is in intervals of 10, but be careful, the temperature increases in intervals of five. All right, so what does this table? So let's look at, we got this dashed line. We have 101.3 kilopascals over here. So what does that mean? That is our standard pressure, right, which is also equal to one atmosphere, right, from table A. So at one atmosphere or 101.3 kilo, kilopascals, our standard pressure, these, dots where the dot where these curves intersect that dashed line are the normal boiling points of these four liquids right you should know water boils at 100 degrees but water only boils at 100 degrees at standard pressure so we can either increase the boiling point or decrease the boiling point of any substance by manipulating the pressure so water will boil if I go, if I want the water to boil at a higher temperature, I need to increase the pressure, right? These are all direct relationships, right? That's the essence of a pressure cooker, right? Or if you have a, an Instapot, right? Which is a pressure cooker, right? So if you increase the pressure inside, you're gonna increase the boiling point of the water inside and your stuff's gonna cook faster. So then boiling point all has to do with intermolecular forces. So the lowest boiling point is propanone. So that has the weakest intermolecular forces. And then your strongest or your highest boiling point, strongest intermolecular forces is the ethanoic acid. So you're only ever gonna be asked uh, weakest or strongest with this table, not the ones in between. So then what kinds of questions? So let's look here, we'll call this question number one. At 50 degrees, which has the lowest vapor pressure? So I'm going to find, let's just switch colors just for fun. Let's go to green. At 50 degrees, so 50 degrees is right here. Which one has the lowest vapor pressure? So I have to choose one of these four liquids. The lowest vapor pressure is the lowest line. So that is going to be your ethanoic acid. So I'm just gonna do eth acid for short. Okay, so now question number two over here. What is the boiling point of propanone at 70 kilopascals? So I have to find 70 kilopascals, so that's 50, 60, 70, so 70 kilopascals, and I'm going to read this, oops, can't draw this very straight, uh, and propanone, so propanone, so where does that intersect here, and I'm going to read this straight down, so then that is one below 50, this was by fives, so 45 degrees. So I've given the pressure, I read across and down, so now if I'm given the temperature, I want to read the opposite way. I want to read up and over. So question number three, at what pressure will water boil at 70 degrees? So I find 70 degrees and I'm going to read this up until I, until I reach the water. And so there's this line right here. And now I'm going to read across and I'm going to go 50, 40, 30, 30 degrees. Sorry, not degrees, 30 kilopascals. So if I lower the pressure, right, I am going to lower the temperature. Okay, so that is table H in a nutshell.